As reported by LSM on March 27th, Baltic defence firm Frankenberg Technologies signed a research and development agreement with the Latvian Ministry of Defence, enabling opportunities for cooperation with Latvia's national armed forces. The company, first established in Estonia but now also established in other corners of Europe, aims to establish a production facility and a research and development centre in Latvia. Let's take a look at the company and the plan for today's video. Starting off with the somewhat recent news, Estonia's Frankenberg Technologies has chosen Latvia to house a site for R&D and production activities. The company is all about anti-drone missiles, something that militaries must be heavily interested in by now, given all that is going on in Ukraine. A Ukrainian rescue team lifts a casualty from the rubble after a Russian drone attack. Russia has launched the biggest drone strike on Kyiv since the war began. Russia launched a record 54 so-called kamikaze drones on Ukrainian targets. When it comes to the deal, Frankenberg CEO was quoted as saying, the choice of Latvia is not accidental. Here there are strong traditions of rocket development and talented engineers. Cooperation with Riga Technical University has already proven its effectiveness. Latvia has everything necessary for further product development and production. At the time of the report, Frankenberg was evaluating several potential locations in Latvia for its future site, and LSM noted that a final decision on the location of the production facility was planned to be made in the near future. Nonetheless, the establishment of this facility will create dozens of new jobs in Latvia and promote export growth. The Latvian Investment and Development Agency also highlighted that it would strengthen Latvia's scientific research potential in the field of defence. This news notably came a few weeks after Frankenberg signed a research and development contract with the Ministry of Defence of Latvia, one of a handful of contracts the company has signed thus far, although many cannot be disclosed just yet. That's the essence of the news, but what else can we tell you about Frankenberg Technologies? Well, its website's main page states, We are in the rocket science business. Our aim is to develop missile systems that are 10 times more affordable, 100 times faster to produce, and in quantities far exceeding current industry capabilities. We revolutionize missile targeting by employing our cutting-edge AI-powered situational awareness platform, enabling us to anticipate threats and stay ahead of our adversaries. The company says it has operations in several countries, including Latvia, Lithuania, Ukraine, Denmark, the United Kingdom, and of course, Estonia. According to a post on LinkedIn, it was only in late 2024 that the company announced its expansion into Lithuania. Discussions took place in Vilnius, where a Frankenberg representative held productive meetings with senior leadership of the Lithuanian Armed Forces, including the country's Chief of Defence and Chief of Defence Staff. Information about the company, at least on its website, is fairly light, but LSM states that its technologies are specifically focused on neutralizing various types of unmanned aerial vehicles, including Iranian Shahed drones used by Russia in Ukraine. Unlike traditional reusable drones, these are designed for one-time precision strikes. In just the past year, Shahed drones hit commercial ships in the Red Sea, threatened the lives of US troops in the Middle East, and wreaked havoc in Ukraine. LSM adds that the company's first product is a small-sized and short-range surface-to-air missile that could effectively combat various types of unmanned aerial vehicles at distances of up to two kilometers. The company's chief technology officer is a Latvian robotics engineer, rocket science enthusiast, and entrepreneur who lectures at Riga Technical University and the Latvian Art Academy. For such aspirational defense goals, the company is incredibly young, having only been founded in 2024. Nonetheless, it has attracted a number of high-ranking retired military commanders to join the team, either as managers or strategic advisors. The company, which considers itself a true pan-Baltic company with registered businesses in all three countries, sees itself as a disruptor to European defence, being a light, agile and nimble startup that is able to innovate just as fast, if not faster, than the large and well-established European defence giants. The firm is also registered in the UK and Ukraine. Ultimately, the goal is to produce affordable weapons quickly. Of course, the company will need to convince more governments and their militaries of its potential if it is to attract more investment and secure more contracts. But clearly, the need for anti-drone technology is there, and it's great to see a Baltic company pushing ahead on this front. What do you think of Frankenberg, its goals and its decision to establish a site in Latvia? 
Let us know what you think by leaving a comment.